to my channel now. Look at this gorgeous picture right here. Look, this is from John Sloan. This is Diamond Art Club and you can tell that it is a square. Sorry, I had clicked for my cameras to behave, but they're not behaving. Let's try this. Mm, no, not behaving. All right, I'll deal with that. All right, so it's a square. You have all these details on this gorgeous sticker here and you have the blue for the square as well. I know there's not many of you out there that are square fans. I would say give it a go. You get much more detail with the square picture than you do with a round um, for the size. And this is big. Now, we have a picture. We have a toolkit. I'm going to be able to reach. There is the inventory sticker way down. I'm just going to close this and open this. All right, so on the newer kits, you get these three pieces. So make sure you get them all out of the box. See? It goes nice and snug around the outside of everything. So make sure you get all of those bits. All right, so you've got the big sticker that you can put wherever you would like. This has 46 colors in it. You also get this thumbnail, which is a little bit smaller than the one on the box, but it's, and it's square. But it gives you all of the details. So it says it's spring ahead. It says it's by John Sloan. It says it's the square. It says the size. Okay, so it's a 71 by 56, which is kind of the standard size. All right, now, square kit has two hearts. It's got a squishy, it's got a couple of bags, it's got a tray, it's got the good tweezers, the sharp ones, don't drop them on your feet, and it's got the blue pen. Okay, scene one, scene them all. All right, I see one AB, but I have found them in the middle, so I do a quick scan to make sure. Okay, it's one, two, five, which I think is the minty, minty kind of bluey green. Let's get in. This feels really heavy. There's... It's like having a baby. Alright. The bag says the code. And it says spring ahead. And it says that there's an AB in there. And there are your drills. It also gives you this little brochure, which is like your nine step instruction kind of thing. It, so it gives you your thing and it gives you a voucher and Angie gives you a welcome message and some tips and tricks. Use these wisely. These are, these are really cool actually. All right, we are gonna roll this the wrong way, just so it relaxes a bit. And while it's relaxing, if I can get this to roll, because you can do this with cord glue, you can manhandle it just a bit. Just scanning those colours again. Alright. And while that's resting, we'll get these out. A lot of drills. My goodness, look at those colours. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll look at those in a few minutes. Right. What are we looking at? This is big. Let me see. I feel like I'm zoomed in too much. Just a second. Uh, I'm not. Okay, that's kind of as good as I'm going to get. All right. Okay, one, two, five is number one. Where is number one? Okay. It's not white, remember. It's a minty white. So you've got this, it's spring, so chances are this is a cherry. Apples are a little bit more kind of white in colour, and this is more like a cherry tree spread. Okay. Look at the beautiful weatherboard. It really comes out gorgeous on the camera. That's beautiful. The... I'm looking at confetti. So you've got black in the trunk here. It's kind of... Okay, it gets a little bit disrespectful in the yellow, in the, the cherry pink. 
that's a little bit disrespectful okay but you've got long lines here of whatever the dot is it could be a sorry i'm blocking your screen it's 3865 so it's an off-white and it would be maybe a gray 762 and then you've got the roof which again is long lines just to give that linear look for the house because it's you know what do you call do you call it you call it clapboard is that what you call it we call it weatherboard and in, in australia it's wooden slats basically and they're painted you have um the tree starting out here because it's spring but look you've got a pine tree that would be awesome to decorate at christmas time out in your yard that's gorgeous and then you've got these other trees starting out now down the bottom i don't recommend you do this with your kit but i'm gonna show you down the bottom because this is what won it for me you've got this yellow now over here i don't know what it might be or over in the states i don't know what it might be but it makes me think of forsythia forsythia is a plant that i used to have in my front garden as a kid and it's got this gorgeous yellow flower and the flowers are everywhere but they're usually a bigger bush so these could be quite small and then you've got what looks like your tulips and then you've got what looks like i don't know you maybe your violets maybe and you've got a watering can and the detail is really cool and you've got some of the one two fives in your watering can and i forgot to tell you where they were up on the, the top of the picture you've got your wheelbarrow you've got your rake you've got more tulips and the forsythia and you've got your garden gate and look it's a ginger putty cat i think it's the only cat in the picture but one four one where are the ab's the ab's are in the sky in the clouds now i haven't done a john sloan before you got some more up here and you've got some more up here so in the clouds okay not quite silver linings but they are the, the glinty bits in the clouds um i will show you a blow up of that picture it's gorgeous so you've got your cat on your gate post and then you've got your little dirt path that winds up to the house uh, that's just gorgeous i i love that that's um really really pretty I'll just throw that aside but yeah so you've got putty cat that looks like hank do you know dave and amber of um diamond painting with uh, painting with diamond, diamond painting dave or something um yeah he's got a hank and hank has the white socks and he's all ginge and he sits on the camera or sits in view of the camera usually with his butt to the camera um, but yeah, you've got the gorgeous cherry blossom. That is gorgeous. Lovely, lovely, lovely country scene. All right, let's take a look at the drill, see what we get in this. Okay, these are the big bags. So you've got a dark green, which is 890. Uh, 702, which is your um, green, limey green. 3371, which is your kind of black brown. Two of those. Now, I apologise for my camera being a bit spastic. It's probably focusing on the other one, not the, this one. 435 is a tan. 3865 is your cream, off-white. 602, which is your pink. 3325, which is your pale blue. 3819, which is a limey, limey green. That's going to be in the Forsythia kind of thing. And you could even throw some yellow ABs into there, probably, or even some of the jellies. Um, some of the yellow jellies uh, from Tina. 996 then in your bright turquoise kind of blue. Alright, wind these babies up. And go for the next one. Alright, so we've got 996 in a another turquoise. Yep, turquoise. Two of those. 701, we have two of those. Lots of greens. Okay, all that dark grass probably at the front 3755 two of those in a blue and these squares look good flat bottoms no bits and i probably cannot get this camera to focus there we go look at that okay there are your blues so i'm gonna try and tilt it just a little bit see how flat they are do you see that there's no bits in there that's what you expect from a square drill camera you did a awesome job okay 130 there is i missed an ab 
How? I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my goodness. So there's two ABs. That's going to be in the Forsythia. Yeah. Oh, how cool is that? That's so awesome. There's a funky bit in there. Look, seeing as my camera is doing its thing, it's, come on. There we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's like buttered sweet corn, Mrs. Coffee. Oh, that's amazing. It is a true shimmer. Waiting for the camera. All right. Uh, 898, which is brown. Oh, breathe. 444. Look at all the yellow. All that yellow in the Forsythe here. If it is Forsythe. I'm calling it Forsythe here. 938, which is a brown. Lots of browns. So where would those browns be? Um, Probably in the tree trunks. There's a lot. Okay. Uh, 3841, which is a pale blue. So it would be sky or wheelbarrow. 434, which is a tan brown. 436, which is getting a bit more orangey. 904, which is an army kind of green. It's two of those babies. Now, I know it's not focusing on the number brilliantly, but it, it, you can see the color. 775 is a minty blue. 742 is your orange. 645 is your kind of gray. And 601 is a cerise pink. All right. So your 1AB... There is a lot. And the other AB is not so much. Oh, oh there's, there's still more. There's still more big babies. 310. Old Faithful. 704. Green and 895. Army Green. So we'll pop that in between. All right. Into the babies. There's an AB in here somewhere. 646 is a brown, like a mushroomy kind of, kind of brown. 844 is a dark brown. 433 is your mm, mid orange brown. 762 is an off white. Um, kind of looks like somebody dirtied the paint somehow. 604 is a pink. Oh my god, the shine off that is incredible. That's... Uh, 783 is a, another orange and 125. Okay, there is your 125. Come on, baby. So it's not white. It's. It's. Mm. I do have a 3865. No, it's not 3865. It's like it's got a green hint to it. It's got a silver reflection, so it's kind of true to color. So that's handy. 703 is lime green. 738 is a kind of peach. 739 is a bit peachier. 415 is a grey. 437 is a peach. 603 is pink. 321 is your cherry red. 606 is an orange red. 318 is a grey. 334 is a blue. 647 is a grey with a hint of green. Or maybe a green with a hint of grey. 666 red. That's surprisingly little red, given that we've got all those tulips. And 3843 is a bright blue, which is probably in that wheelbarrow as well. So we get three of those. Ooh, there it is. Look. No, it's close. It's not. I thought 762 might be the 125. <laughs> um... If you're wondering why I might kind of hone in on that, it's because Tina sells her AB drills as the DMC color. So if you're ever looking to replace, um, there you go. It really does look very similar to 3865. Very, very similar. All right. Isn't that gorgeous as a color palette focus camera? That is just beautiful. Um, there is a butt ton of yellow and this is the AB. And the other AB is kind of falling down, down here. That's going to be gorgeous. All right. So that is Spring Ahead. John Sloan, if you like country images, um, there are a few of these knocking around of John Sloan's. And um, yeah, well worth getting. Now, because I am a DAC affiliate, if you would like to use the link and order this painting, 
um, you can do so with that link. Uh, there is going to be a link to the Diamond Art Club as well and I will get a commission for that. Thank you very much if you want to make that purchase and you can use any discount code with that. So if you're part of the Crafters Anonymous group, you can use the Crafters code. If you're a previous purchaser, you will also have a code as well um, because it's always on the... Um, little pamphlet that you get and I think there's one on the bottom of the canvas as well so look you're not shy of getting um of getting a code now if you're interested in this we've got Black Friday coming up save your pennies buy gift cards you can stack your gift cards if you're making a purchase um so you can actually use four or five gift cards and a discount code and you are a winner so you've pre-budgeted and it's just like good to go Hopefully they get the stock in and they're keeping it maybe aside for a massive sale. They've got some awesome stuff coming out. Please go check them out. Follow my link and check them out and see what you think. Um, it's really easy to get free shipping. It's nearly one painting um, now these days to get free shipping within the US. And it's $75 in the rest of the world to get free shipping. So it's quite easy. You can buy two paintings and you've got free shipping. Um, so please avail of that while you can because it's not necessarily going to stay like that forever. Um, yeah, if you are interested in more Diamond Art Club, please go check out my Diamond Art Club playlist. It will be linked at the end in the closing scene and you will be able to check out that playlist. If you want to see something a little bit different, you might want to check out the non-DAC playlist. So it's got everything that's just not from DAC. And uh, you can see what gorgeous stuff I've got from other stores, um, good or bad. Uh, and whether or not the links work, I don't know. Some of these videos would be quite old now, like a year old. Um, because I've been doing these videos for quite some time now. So if you get a broken link, let me know. Or just do a picture search. Chances are you might find it. I do apologise if there are any um, pictures maybe that shouldn't be there. But I was buying when I didn't wasn't aware of copyright. So please support these artists. Um, John has been a licensed artist, so it means he gets money for you purchasing this painting as well. Um, and it's all done completely above board and he gets to continue what he loves doing and we get to continue then what we love doing, which is diamond painting to his gorgeous pictures. So please check him out. If you want to see what else he's got, put John Sloan into the search bar in Diamond Art Club and you get to see all his paintings. Uh, that would be another way to do it. So yeah, remember that. Uh, if it's out of stock, Pop your email in on the bottom, just below the picture in the description. And Diamond Art Club will email you with the notification that it's back in stock so you can make that purchase. So, um, yeah, I think that's everything um, Diamond Art Club wise. Please enjoy yourselves. It's a gorgeous um, shopping experience at the moment. There are loads and loads of styles. If you like country, there's certainly plenty of artists there that you can choose from. So, yeah, enjoy your browsing. I'll see you around on the tubes and um, talk to you soon. Bye for now. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. <laughs>